We're at the Maori House, uh, an 18th century uh, farmhouse and farmstead in Smithfield, Rhode Island. The Smithfield Land Trust inherited the house from the owner, Mary Maori, and she died in 2008 and she left it to us along with the 21 acres of uh, property. So um, her idea was that if we wanted to sell the house, we could. Um, but uh, we discovered that the house had a historic, good historic significance. It was built around 1750. Preserve Rhode Island's particularly interested in working on projects where historic buildings are on open space. And after the uh, Smithfield Land Trust acquired the property, uh, they knew they wanted to do something with the, the historic house, but they weren't really sure what, so they reached out to Preserve Rhode Island. Well, we knew we needed to propose a project that uh, didn't require a lot of funding, upfront funding. And we knew about uh, programs at other parks departments where uh, tenants would move into uh, properties owned by the parks department they would live there rent-free, but in exchange they would take on um, repairs for the interior and exterior for a long-term lease. Curatorship, we don't have any of that in Rhode Island. It's, it doesn't have, exist yet. Um, and so this was a way to um, put in some money and have residents live in it and really be responsible to do the work um, and certainly with the historic uh, bent to it and with Preserve Rhode Island as the manager. Yeah. Revive the Roots um, were already leasing the farm property from us, so they decided that they would be able to do it, and they submitted their application. Um, we said, okay, we'll try this. So we provide training. Uh, we provided some window restoration training. We provided some plaster training. You know, one skill I never thought I would master was reglazing old windows. A lot of us had carpentry skills coming into this just from, you know, different jobs over the years. So we were pretty well prepared, though Preserve Rhode Island paid, uh, played a big role in teaching us sort of the minute details in working with an old house and how to approach different problems, work through them. We've completed most of the exterior work. There is uh, this really nasty porch that was added on in the 80s. It's all aluminum. So we're going to be taking that down and restoring the original porch, which is much more picturesque. It's got like nice turned columns. Um, eventually, we'll be replacing the roof. Mary Mari had these extensive, beautiful flower gardens um, that we've started discovering as we're clearing brush. So. Part of our plan is going to be, you know, clearing all these overgrown areas and restoring a lot of these old flower beds. Long-term goal is to develop as much of the farmable land into farmable land because, you know, farming um, preserves land and provides for the community and that's sort of my passion, my love. Just recently moved into the house. It's been an amazing opportunity coming from a city. I wake up every day in heaven and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about being a part of this project. So It's important to us. We're really happy with this project. Um, we particularly love it because it's taking um, historic buildings and open space and bringing them together for a whole landscape preservation approach to preservation.